What up? What up? What up? How is everyone doing today? Hope everyone's having a great, wonderful day. It is another gift card of Frame Glitch video after patch of the summer DLC. Now, this method I am going to teach y'all, y'all are all familiar with by already. It did not get patched and it is the only working gift card of Frame Glitch that is working on new gen and old and also. Stay tuned for a big announcement coming at the end of the video because we did finally hit a hundred subs on my YouTube channel. So get ready for that. Stay very close to the end for that. So don't go anywhere and don't skip ahead. Now I will tell you this here. My best facilities that I would recommend for doing this glitch is going to be the Polito Bay one. Now that one's kind of far out. Now but it's still an okay facility, not too bad. The other one is going to be just before the military base. It's the Fort Zancudo facility. And that is a good one that's kind of close to the city, but same direction going towards Polito. Oh, so I would, you know, recommend that as a option of trading. And then the other one would be very good to have to deal which I have is the one by the C by the P casino penthouse I was going towards Sandy Shores right here by the dam and I do have that one that's very good and very useful oh well, and then the other last one that is good to have for this method is just about in this year I don't know the name of the facility but it's where all the windmills are at those are the best facilities now there is a facility up there in Sandy Shores out there on Route 68 it's not the best facility I would not recommend it by no means but you know it is what it is so those are the best facilities I do recommend then, and for the requirements for the glitch, you will need a facility that's four cars. Now, the facility does own, we hold seven cars, so that means if you're receiving more than one, just make sure you have enough cars that you don't mind losing inside your facility. A, a, and you have a festival bus inside your CEO office. Now, if you do not have a festival bus in your CEO office, your friend can glitch you out, but that is a little bit of a trickier method, and I will not post a video on that one unless people ask me to, so don't expect a video of me showing you me showing you how to glitch your friend out, out um, so don't expect that, uh, and you will need, on top of that, like I said, if you don't have a festival bus if you're on new gen xbox uh expanded enhanced version of gta you can easily pick up one through the ls um ls car meet by paying one million dollars to your to the game to buy one off of someone you can do that so don't worry but um if you don't have one you're kind of sol and you cannot really trade so this is the only working give card a friend glitch that is out right now. So I'm very sorry about that. But anyway, let's go ahead and get started. So all you want to do is hop onto your festival bus, drive it back into the garage that you called it out. Now I always recommend use Maze Bank West. Maze Bank towers do work, but it's a little bit tricky trying to drive the party bus in there. And the party buses that work best are going to be the ones with the flat roof. You do not want the ones with the speakers and stuff like that because you will have to knock the speakers off each time. I'm uh, trying to do the glitch. So all you want to do is try to drive it back into the garage that you called it out or drove it out from. Um, so this came from my office garage one. So I was able to hit it first try. Sometimes you might have to back up and then go at the garage door again and hit it. So I'm going to go ahead and select Office Garage 1 and head on inside. Now on this screen, if you're on old gen, you might want to open your pause menu. But if you're on new gen, you don't have to. The reason why is because sometimes the invites don't go through on uh, old gen. And it takes a while for them to show up because your friend does have to start up a tight new job. And 
to send you an invite to it for you to bounce off of him and pretty much to get off of the black screen to get glitched but because I'm on new gen I don't have to do that so if you're on old gen and the invite to take him out just have that pause me open and your friend uh, set his status to online so then what you can do is go to the friends mi friends list on the pause menu and you can join from there yeah. so it's very easy like that so I'm going to go ahead and join the invite Friends at me now. I'm on the alert. Now he can back out of the job once he has successfully backed out of the job. I can then accept all alerts. Now you can do the same thing on on old gen, but just remember, or you either want to accept the invite or you want to bounce off your join off your friends list on GTA in the pause menu. Either way, so I'm gonna go ahead and accept all the alerts now. There we go. It did put me back down into the session. And it spit me up in the air and it spit me back down into the session. Now, the game thinks that my party bus is inside my office garage and I'm inside my office garage with the party bus, but I am not. I am outside. I, and to show you that I'm glitched, I cannot pull out a gun. As you see, I am doing the motion of pulling one out, and it does not work at all. So at this time, you just want to call out a buzzard, or you want to grab a street vehicle. Preferably grab a street vehicle if you don't have a facility and it's close to the street. Eight for your friend to flip you with. Now, you can use a personal vehicle from a different garage other than your facility to get flipped in. And you can do that. But here is the thing. And your friend will have to have something to flip you with. So it's better if you just let him use your hero phantom wedge or something. So it does go better, faster than what it should. Because now, if you call out personal vehicle, you cannot call out your phantom wedge for a friend to flip you. Now, I will show you a trick up there outside the facility. Hey, I'm just trying to find me a street vehicle here that is very small before I head to my facility here. here but I'm going to go ahead and pause the video recording here at this time until I get to my facility and I'll pick up while I'm back up there at my facility so you don't have to see me driving from here to my facility.
All right, y'all. I was finally able to make it to my facility. Sorry for that. And thank you for bearing with me. Now, like I said, you can use a street vehicle. Now, that's what I'm going to be using here. here. But if you want to use your personal vehicle, just call your mechanic and from request a vehicle from a different garage other than your facility. Your friend can flip you with that. But you won't be able to call out your phantom wedge edge for your friend to flip you. It was something he would have to call his phantom wedge, and then once he flips, you have to return his phantom wedge and then call out the vehicle he wants to give you. You know, so I'm gonna call out my phantom wedge from my friend to flip me with. Now, if you're not able to call out your personal vehicle from a different garage using the mechanic, just simply have your friend walk inside his facility and then invite you to inside his facility. And once you do so and you walk out, you'll be able to call out vehicles from your mechanic and also on top of that, you'll be able to bring out weapons. And so I'm going to go ahead and I'm going to request my Phantom Wedge. And I'm going to hop into the car that I'm going to be flipped in. And my phantom wedge did spawn in. And now, as you see, there is a yellow dot at the bottom of the e facility here. Now, you want to park your car sideways and it's on the yellow dot. So, I'm going to open my interactions menu so I don't get sucked in. Now, when you park your, your car that you're getting flipped in onto the yellow dot and you literally have it there you want to drop your interactions menu and you should get the alert that your screen is full now i'll be dropping my interaction menu here in just a minute so just see how i'm sitting right here here just imagine the yellow dot is showing but it's not showing right now because i do have my interactions menu open but this is just about where you want to be sitting at on your facility Hey, and you can use any facility inside the game. Hey, now, I will get the alert saying my facility is full. Oh, and that's the alert that you want. And you want to stay on that alert to your friend flips you. Now, your way flips you can be sideways or upside down. Um, um, but, um, but, uh, all you want to do is stay on that alert. Now, if you do stay on that alert too long, what will happen is, is you will get kicked for being idle. So keep that in mind. So if your friend's not able to flip you right away, eh, or if you street vehicle is not working, because sometimes it takes more than one street vehicle to try to figure it out. Because even though if it's a small and light street vehicle, it will not work sometimes. Your friend will have to sit there air and uh, tell you hey look get a new vehicle that is perfectly fine but I will teach you a glitch to save the vehicle so your friend don't have to keep going getting new street vehicle oh prevent this from despawning so I'm gonna go ahead and back out of my interactions menu on three two one now I'm on the alert so now I just wait for my friend to flip me once I'm sideways or upside down and he lets me know I can accept the alert I do not want to press B on the alert I want to press A on the alert so A for Xbox and X for PlayStation so I'm gonna go ahead and press A now I'm flipped over I'm gonna get out of the car now I will kill myself through the interactions menu you know, if I was not able to kill myself through the interactions menu your friend can kill you now, at this time, if you were receiving another car, so you don't have to go get another street car, just have your friend flip that car back over, er, and then sit inside of it at, while you drive his car inside of your facility and replace it over a car that you don't mind losing. Once you replace the other car you don't mind losing, come out and get flipped again to receive the next car. Now, if you're only receiving one car, what you want to do is change your character's outfit to force game save and restart your game. So, I'm going to drive this car in. And to show you that I am receiving his car. Or, so, I'm just going to drive it right on in. And once I drive it in... It, and I will have to select the card I don't mind losing. As you did see, I did get the alert again saying that my facility is full. And 
I just choose a card I don't mind losing and put the car over it. So now the car is inside my facility. I do own this car. Now if this was the only car I would be receiving, I would change my character's outfit to save, force game save, and I would quit my game and I can load back in and I'll be unglitched and also the car will be saved inside my facility. But if I'm receiving their car, you don't have to go back to your CEO office. You're still glitched out. You can go outside and get inside another street car or car or use the same car that you called out to get flipped in and get flipped in again. And then get your friend's car, drive inside your facility, and there you go. Now, like I said, I do have an announcement for everyone on here. So, y'all did make it to the end of the video. So, here we go. The announcement is we did reach 100 subs on my YouTube channel. So, I did tell y'all I was going to do a major giveaway on my channel. Oh, once I did reach 100 subs. So, this Saturday, I will be doing, and if I can find... I a fourth person to if I can help if I can find literally a a two other people I can do a four car giveaway or if I just find one person I can do a three car giveaway. A but now also that's not all I'm doing here. Here whoever comments the most on most of my videos, new or old videos, and your name pops up the most, I'll pick one lucky winner to go through all my garages and pick out out not one but five cars of their choice that I never released to any anybody so you will be able to get five cars out of my collection that I have have and that I made that no one else has so stay tuned for that I will be picking out a winner so whoever comments the most on my videos I will pick out one winner exclusively to come and pick out five cars of choice, but they must be on Xbox, New Gen, Expanded, and Enhanced. So, if you need help with this glitch, y'all, just remember, join through my Discord server, and one of my Discord server staff members or a member or me can help y'all out. Go ahead and smash that like button, subscribe to our channel, and turn on post notifications, and I will catch y'all in the next video.